Hello friends, welcome to Science Mania. I am Ruthika and today we have a video on atom. So, what is an atom? Atom is the smallest unit of matter. And why is it important for us? It is important for us because it makes up everything. Hmm. Come, let us now go on our journey of atom. Atom is a particle of matter that uniquely defines a chemical element. This means that any atom is a particle of any matter, solid, liquid, gas, that uniquely defines any chemical element. An atom consists of a central nucleus that is usually surrounded by one or more electrons. Each of the electrons is negatively charged. The nucleus is positively charged and contains one or more relatively heavy particles known as protons and neutrons. So here, as you can see, inside this yellow circle, the yellow circle and the things inside the yellow circle is the nucleus. And these balls, they are electrons, they are outside the nucleus. In the nucleus, there are protons and neutrons. The neutrons are neutrally charged, protons are positively charged and the electrons are negatively charged. So, the overall charge of an atom is neutral. Valencies. Hmm, what are valencies? Each shell has some number of electrons which it can hold. Hmm, so that's just like the number of burgers you can eat in one day. How? Okay, I'll tell you. Like in one day you can eat two burgers and in two days you can eat four hmm. and so on. In the same way there are the valencies. Like in this table, this tells you the valencies of the atoms. Like in the first shell how many electrons can it hold up to. Remember the electrons are negatively charged. In the first shell and every shell has a shell letter like the first shell has the shell letter K and its electron valency. Electron valency means the number of electrons it can hold. That goes like this. 1 shell number 1 shell letter K. Electron valency is 2. Shell number 2 shell letter L. Electron valency is 8. Shell number 3 shell letter M. Electron valency 18. Shell number 4, shell letter N, electron valency is 32. Shell number 5, shell letter O, electron valency is 50. There is shell number 6, which whose shell letter is P, and the electron valency is 72. The shell letters are very easy to memorize because they are in the alphabetical order. K, L, M, N, O, P. Okay, I'll give you an example. Like in this hydrogen atom, you can see there is one electron and one proton, right? And in the oxygen atom, there in the first shell, there are two electrons and in the second shell, there are six. And in this one, in the first shell, there are only one. So in the first shell of a hydrogen atom, one more electron can fit. And in the oxygen atom, in the second shell, two more can fit. I'm sure you all must have heard of H2O. Hydro H2O, that's the formula of water. So if two hydrogen atoms, that means two electrons, come in the oxygen atom in the second shell, then it will form the formula H2O, that's water. Because 2 plus 6, that is equal to 8. So here you can see, is the periodic table of elements. Hmm. So, and I have put this because I want to tell you about the total number of elements that are there in total. That's 118. Hmm. I'll give you one example. This tells a lot of things about the element. Like here is the symbol, the atomic number and the mass. So thank you. I hope you understood everything. If you like the video, then hit the like button and subscribe down below. And if you have any doubts or you want another video on any topic, then tell, then please comment down in the comment section below. Goodbye for now.